In this tutorial series, we will explore the SOLIDWORKS API while generating this pipe geometry programmatically using Visual Basic. The outcome of this tutorial series will be an application as a Windows form that takes some user-specified parameters like length, width, height, as well as band radius and diameters of the tubing and generates the geometry for us uh, in a way that we can expect and, and save it. This tutorial will be divided into a number of videos that deal with getting started with the API and generating geometry. You will be introduced to all necessary API functions which you need to complete this tutorial, as well as the details of generating the necessary geometry. Your task in this tutorial will be to use the API with Visual Basic in order to create a working app that solves this problem but is general enough so they can handle the change in the input structure of the geometry. More on that shortly. The problem to be solved is generating an app that creates a closed loop pipe. This closed loop pipe is constructed using a set of points that are connected with lines. Your solution should be able to handle any number of points. The aim here is to learn how to use an API as a general approach to make general designs that can be easily changed on demand by the user. For instance, the points can be provided by an Excel sheet and we can pro provide as many points as we need. This means that you cannot hard code your solution but instead use loops and arrays to handle gen the generation of the geometry. The API functions are created to be used as a process that is similar to how a designer would use the graphical user interface in SOLIDWORKS to create the geometry. And by the way, API stands for Application Programming Interface and gives us the ability to programmatically use a software that was otherwise designed to be used through graphical user interface. So in general, if we want to accomplish something programmatically, we need to rely on the API documentation and Google to find out what functions we need to use, how the syntax looks like, given that we want to use certain SOLIDWORKS functions, for instance, to create a sketch on a plane. So, of course, learning an API means naturally you will be spending some time on googling commands, hanging on forums, and in the SOLIDWORKS API help pages. It should be obvious that the tutorial is not going to cover all possible functions of an API. They might be hundreds or thousands even, but instead get you up and running, providing a problem, initial steps, and a powerful toolbox.